We're going to take a look at Bernat Viva yarn. Another new super bulky yarn by yarnspirations.com. There's a pattern on the website for this really pretty cowl. I can't remember how many skeins you need for this. Two. You need two skeins. Hey, I have enough. I have two skeins. I'd like to make that. Um, you can also find several other patterns on the Your Inspirations website. That is called the Quick Cluster Cowl. That photo right there. Alright. This yarn, the, the one I have is called, the color is black. There's several other colors available on the website. It's a super bulky yarn. If you knit, you use a size 11 or 8 millimeter knitting needle. You'll get 11 stitches and 15 rows in a 4 by 4 inch or 10 by 10 centimeter square. To crochet, you'd use a size L, 11 hook, 8 millimeters. You get 8 single crochets and 9 rows in a 4 inch or 10 centimeter square. Machine washable and dryable. Do not iron, do not dry clean, do not bleach. So this is easy care. It's 82% acrylic, 18% nylon. Each skein is 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. 85 yards or 77 minute, millimeters. So there we go. That's the yarn. It's a real fluffy yarn. I've already got this one started from the center of the skein. It's very fluffy. It feels like wool, but it's not. It's acrylic and nylon. It's a braided yarn. Braided. You can see that um, parts of it is all braided through. And it's got a real fluffy core, I believe. It's all mixed in together there, so it's hard to tell if it was um, if it surrounds that as a core or if it's just all blended as it's as it's made, manufactured. Anyway, let's try crocheting with it. <clears throat> I think this is going to be really easy to work with. I think this would be a really good yarn for beginners because you can see the stitches very easily and it's so easy to work with. And the yarn does not split as you work with it. And it's so easy to see those stitches and the yarn very smoothly goes through the hook. In fact, I think you might even be able to use a bigger hook for this if you want to make a looser fabric. And it's very thick and fluffy and it feels so woolly. So if you like the look of wool but not the feel of wool, this would be a good option for you. If you want something warm and cozy. Because this is definitely a warm yarn. You would not want this for summer or spring. It would be good for making mittens or a hat or scarf. And if you have a whole bunch of this, you can make a, a cape or a poncho or a jacket or a cardigan. This is just a real easy yarn to work with. It's fun. And the yarn goes very quickly. Easy to see the stitches. It shows the stitch design well, so you could do a cabled design with this if you want, and it would show your stitches. The only thing that, um, if you did cables, it would not. Sh it would be hard to see with all these color changes going on. So probably not the best for using the cabled design. And try some triples here. Yeah, easy peasy. This yarn will be perfect for beginners to learn with because it is so thick and cozy and fun. Messed up that triple, but we made it work. We faked it through there. So see how fast that works? You can make something in no time with this. I even think if you had a bunch of this, you could make a really warm afghan really quickly with this. It would be fun to do. So that's how it crochets. Now let's see how it knits. 
It unravels easily. Not hard at all. So easy. And it's so fluffy and fun. I like this yarn. I think it'd be nice to make a hat with this. Oh yeah, this works really easy. It'd probably be a little bit easier if you had um, needles that are not too sharp. If you use sharp needles with this, I think it would be easy to split the yarn because of the, how fluffy it is. good. Feels good in the hands. And I think that a beginner would be real satisfied working with this yarn because they can see their stitches so easily. It's easy to purl with and the yarn flows nicely. I'm using these vintage plastic needles. I imagine that would work fine with any kind of needle. It's just one of those flexible fibers. I think it would work with just about anything. I'm going to knit another row here. I enjoy using this yarn. It reminds me so much of wool. It's got that, um, not really scratchy, but it's got that, um, uh, hairy feel to it, like a wool. But it's not scratchy. So here you can see at the bottom the, um, garter stitch section, and you can see the stockinette through there. So the stitches fill out, they fluff out and stand up nicely beside each other. Has a good body. There you go. Burnett Viva. Talk to you later.